for each of the kids. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I'm missing it. Happy Wednesday. I sent a really special note up to Santa this year and asked him if he would bring me all of my kids stocking stuffers so that way I could show you guys before they're delivered into their stockings this year. So this is a very special video just for you guys and a big shout out to Santa for bringing them down here for me so I can make this video. T minus four days until Christmas. Where has the time gone? Luckily our Christmas shopping is completely done now. Officially completely done. I know it's a little bit late four days until Christmas and actually it's a little bit less for us because we're doing our Christmas early. I have four stockings here today. I mean we have all of the stockings but I only have stocking stuffers for four of the kids right now and the reason is because for Adeline we're not really doing stocking stuffers for her this year. It's just too little. She doesn't get it. It is bringing her a present but for stocking stuffers we just really had no idea what to ask Santa for to put in her stocking so we just kind of said screw it. And the other two that we're missing is Tommy and Caden's and the reason is because we sent all of their Christmas presents with them home early because we don't get them until after Christmas this year. The way that the custody schedule works, and I should make a whole video talking about this, but I just don't know if I'm gonna have time. Long story short, every other holiday, every other year. That's generally how it goes when you have custody schedules. Neither of us are gonna have our kids on the actual like Christmas Eve, Christmas morning. So what we decide to do, and it's worked very well for us up to this point on the years when we don't have them. For me, it's only been Lilia. This is gonna be the first year where I actually don't have Lilia and Supposed to be the boys too, so fingers crossed for them. We are not gonna have any of the kids except Adeline on Christmas Eve. So we're actually doing our Christmas a whole day early. And so Christmas is gonna be just exactly the same. We explained to them that when you have split families, sometimes Santa comes to multiple houses or on multiple different days. So that's just kind of how it works in our house. As for Tommy and Caden, since they're gone for longer periods of time, like I said, we just sent all of their presents with them early so that way they have them to open on Christmas morning. So for today's video, I have Kyson, Caden, Landon, and Lilia stocking, and I'm gonna show you guys what we put in all of their stockings for a bunch of different age groups, different genders, different age groups. Should be interesting. We do try to keep the stockings very equal in terms of they don't necessarily get the same thing. Some of the things they do get are the same, but some of the things that they get are different, but just like on a level playing field. Should I go youngest to oldest or oldest to youngest? Let's go ahead and start with Lilia first. Every single year, the two things that my kids always get in their stocking is a toothbrush and some form of candy. So the first thing that Lilia got in her stocking is a new frozen toothbrush, and she is anticipating this. She's like, Santa always gives me a toothbrush for Christmas in my stocking. Looks like Santa delivered. Santa definitely knew she wanted a new toothbrush. The second thing, of course, is some candy. All the kids got the same little candy cane of Skittles. And the next thing she got is a Slinky. And all of the kids did get a Slinky in their stocking this year. Santa knows that the kids love Slinkies. They all had some before and they all broke because they played with them so much. The next thing she got is body wash. A little aerial body wash. That way when she's taking a bath or the kids are taking a bath, they can pick their own bubble bath. She got the famous num nums, num nums, num nums, num num nums. I think they're num nums. She talks about these all the time. I honestly could not tell you what they are, but this is a cute little pack of num nums, and I'm sure that'll make her happy. The next thing she got is a little bit different, but my kids are obsessed with band-aids and they like to pick out their own band-aids so what we decided to ask Santa for this year for them was different band-aids for each of the kids and as long as they don't abuse their right to pick their band-aids and use them whenever they want to and only use them when they actually need them then I let them keep them in their room. She got this little pack of tattoos just these little princess temporary tattoos my kids love temporary tattoos and this one's no different. She got a little on-the-go restickable sticker set 24 color forms and two backgrounds sticks like magic so it's just this cute little sticker pack that she can bring with her when she's going places or at home she got one of these trolls things she along with everyone else right now I think is obsessed with the movie trolls so this is just one of those like little mystery packs of trolls the last thing that she got is one of these Santa's going to put one of these in each of the kids stocking this year and it's just the washable bath markers and honestly they're all gonna end up using all of them anyway they love being hands-on in the bath using colors and different soaps and stuff like that so this is gonna go in each of their stocking 
stockings as well. So that is it for Lilia's stocking. I'm gonna go to move on because there's lots of kids to go through. So for the twins, I think I'm actually gonna do both of them at once. They literally got the same of everything except maybe a couple different things or different characters. And I'll go ahead and specify which things are different. But um, both of them, again, got Skittles. They both got this super freaking awesome, I want Santa to bring me one, Ultimate Spider-Man glove, I guess. You know, they are obsessed with superheroes. Kaden especially is obsessed with Spider-Man. And this has a little shooter, which he's gonna go crazy over. The next thing they got is this balloon. They have actually had these before and they loved the crap out of them until they broke. So perfect little stocking stuffer idea. This is a Hulk one for Kaisen and an Iron Man one for Kaden. And again, each of them got a slinky as well as both of them got this red Star Wars toothbrush. And I would press the button, but it stays on for a minute and I haven't figured out how to turn it off yet, but it's really cool. It sounds like a lightsaber. Both of the twins got a red one of these, so we're just gonna have to write their name on them. And again, with the bubble bath, Kaden got a Spider-Man one and Kaisen got an Olaf one and with the band-aids Kaden got a Darth Vader one and Kaisen got a Stormtroopers one. It's actually reversible so <laughs> they each got these on the go sticker restickable set just like Lilia. Um, Kaden got a Spider-Man again one <laughs> because he loves Spider-Man and then Kaisen got one with Hulk and Iron Man and a bunch of the other Avengers characters. Last but not least you can probably guess what one of their Christmas presents are gonna be but they each got some bullets like replaceable bullets for the guns that they may or may not get for Christmas <laughs> again perfect stocking stuffer for kids if you're getting nerf guns nerf guns are really popular so I think that is actually it for the twins did I say slinky they also have a slinky if I didn't say that so last but not least is Landon Landon actually has a lot of similar things with the twins as he's getting older their likes are all kind of getting like the same before he liked a lot of like babyish stuff like Paw Patrol and like more of like the Nick Jr. stuff but now he has older brothers and he loves Batman and Spider-Man and Superman and he still likes the other stuff too but he just really wants to be like the big boys his likes are kind of changing from like baby to he thinks he's six I always say he thinks he's six so a lot of these things are similar to what the twins got again a little skittles candy cane for landon and he got a green star wars lightsaber toothbrush then he got a little nemo bubble bath little egg looking thing and they all have their own smell and they smell really really good since they only had hulk and iron man of these balloons and landon was probably the one that loved the balloons the most i just got him another one of the hulk ones just those little balloons again I, like it doesn't even look like a balloon it's hard to explain and he also got the sticker set and santa got him a ninja turtles one so i think he'll like that he got a slinky as well and this little thing I think is so cool. It is a flashing light top. I think he's going to have a blast with that. And it comes with the thing so that way you don't have to sit there and like spin it again and again and again. It comes with its own little like spinner and it's minions, of course, his all time favorite. And last but not least, he got a set of bullets himself. He may or may not have gotten a Nerf gun for Christmas. He, like I said, he thinks he's six. So he got some bullets as well. I think that's pretty much it for our stocking stuffers videos, guys. I gotta hurry up and pack this stuff back up and send it back up to the North Pole. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video. Make sure you look out for my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video. That will be coming up this Friday. That is it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll have those links down below. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I'll talk to you on Friday for our next video. Bye. This year, however, it has been a little bit different in terms of the older kids are starting to get less presents overall because the quality of them are getting better.